Hey guys, get a little bit kitchen I'm gonna show you how the best way, in my opinion, of doing the arm triangle choke. This is different than a lot of my very popular videos online. It has a slight chance of Dennis Holman talking. So I always thought you should stay parallel, drop your hip, but be on the balls of your feet and drive into it. I still believe on the balls of your feet. A lot of people don't teach that. It's very important to drive in with an extra 12 inches of power. So here's how I used to teach it. It's just here, drop flat, but my weight's a little off the mat and break in. Okay? Now here's the positional change. The positional change is once I get in the sun triangle, my, my new side hit next to him, but the other one is going to pull up here, drive it back to this one. Because before the bottom legs are driving like kind of too much up, some people get low, they kind of feel like it's more a neck crank. So by posting the other foot out, I'm putting power, two different power vectors, and I'm making sure that this shoulder comes off this artery pattern. I'm making sure this one goes there because I'm posting this one and driving off of it. So you're actually driving with two legs in two different directions. So I'm here, I'm going to drop, and I pose, I power pose. This one's going to go up, this one's going to go sideways, and then I'm going to take the full at the same time. If you have long arms, you can do a full rear naked choke style. Come on. Come on. Um, now, I'm saying this a lot because a lot of people are getting arm triangle still in UFC. Sam McMahon just did a beautiful arm triangle. People are still blocking arm triangles late and going, oh, maybe I'll survive, and then doing the telephone block. If you choke the right way and focus on dropping your shoulder into the throat as well as the point I just did, it shouldn't matter, I'm really small, it shouldn't matter if it's the same size as people or whatever. If you keep constant pressure on, focus on dropping the shoulder down into the throat and go on your vector, you should get him even if he does the answer the token button. So I got him the choke and he starts to put on the answer the token button. As long as I power pose, but I also drop, not only pressure this way, but I drop my shoulder into the throat, you're still going to get him. This doesn't matter. This is helpful at all. Half a second, if that. It doesn't work anymore. We were teaching that in 1996. It's 21 years later. It doesn't work anymore, and people are still doing that. So look at my next video. I hope it works. I dreamt about how to defend on triangles better, but this doesn't work. So the best way is the power pose vector. Make sure you're dropping the finger into the throat. And now follow up if he does do this. Uh, if I still get broken, which you're supposed to be strong enough to choke down. If you get a choke down, this block does not matter, guys, at all. As long as you're pushing on both feet, and most importantly, you're dropping the shoulder. Most people don't know to drop the shoulder into the floor. Okay. That's why you can choke people in half guard, depending on which side of the half guard. That's why it's actually popular if you focus on the shoulder down by the throat. But besides all this, so I got a good choke and I'm getting tired because it's a fight. I got the answer to the telephone block. Okay? So if he does a telephone block, you can do a telephone block. Put your head up here as a fulcrum and pull this out. Okay? So you should be able to choke through this, but if not, here, put your head there, grab the wrist, the hand, use your notch, the middle finger on the notch of the wrist, and pull this out. If that still doesn't work, you can slip this out. And now this is nasty. I call this one the Gene LaBelle separator. Go over there and film this one again. So I call this the Gene LaBelle separator. Now, if a guy's really slippery, sometimes he can twist his hips out last second, so be a little careful. Like everything, I cook a guy first before I kill him. So I'm already gonna be choking him. Then I'm already gonna be hurting his shoulder. I have done with one guy that the telephone lock, his elbow joint, was that flexible that he wouldn't tap to this. So I've had one guy that he did it. Well, the answer to those super flexible guy that if I transition to this and he's cool with that and doesn't hurt him, is to then bring the other arm over and do the separator. So I start with my choke. Then I'm tired because it's a fight with a long grappling turn. Then I go to the answer of the telephone lock to the, but he's so flexible, he still didn't tap. I let slide this over his face and then I'm here. Okay? I mean, this is really a break. It's really, really bad. So one more time. Here, boom. I'm trying to get him, trying to get him. I can't quite get him. Slide it over. Here. Here. 
That's really a potential break. So that's the best way of doing iron triangle and counters to the old school telephone block. Telephone block doesn't work anymore. Look at my video on how to actually block an iron triangle choke. Thank you guys.